guys, this is Michelle, my everyday wife life, and I'm back in the kitchen again. I'm going to do my kitchen drawers. I'm almost finished with my kitchen. Okay, guys, I am going to try to organize the rest of my kitchen. I don't know if I'll get it all done in this video, but I'm going to try. Now, um, the humming noise you hear is my oven going, if you're wondering what that is. Anyway, I'm making dinner. Um, so this is my, um, Tupperware, um, it's not a junk drawer. <laughs> it's not a junk drawer. It's, you know, to put my leftovers and stuff in. So it does not usually look this messy, but I did just unload the dishwasher. Or rather, hubby just unloaded the dishwasher, and he usually leaves all the stuff on the counter because he has no idea how to how to put the um stuff back in here. So I'm gonna go through this and um see what I can maybe possibly get rid of and reduce this mess. Yeah, I'll be back in a minute. All right, that drawer looks much better. And uh, truth be told, I'm a newbie at using this uh, iPhone, so I filmed this clip of the this video the wrong way. So, <laughs> so I was filming at portrait, and I needed to film at landscape. So I'm having to redo this. But everything else I filmed on Sunday, and today is Thursday, and the video needs to be up on Thursday. Well, I wanted to be up on Thursday, so I'm having to redo this portion of it. So. So we have used some of the containers, and so some of them are in the dishwasher, but I did get rid of quite a few. Um, I really like these containers. I did recently buy some extra ones. They, they stack the stacks on top of there, and then these stack on top, of, on top of there, like this, and they fit in there, and they lock in. And um, this fits really good in my hubby's um, lunchbox, and it comes with some um, ice packs that fit right into this groove um, that fits in his lunchbox, so they work really well. So I was able to get a w rid of some of the containers. And um, I forget I thought I talked about this already, but so I put the lids on everything because ju that just, just works better. Um, it's less messy to me and everything like that. So, um, there are, like I said, there are so a few things in the dishwasher still. I need to find the caps and put the caps on these. My husband uses these for his lunchbox to put milk in for his cereal for his breakfast in the morning. And these two things, they came inside inserts for, um, this container, but I don't really use them. But I could use them for, like, drawer organizers and, um, the desk drawer and stuff like that. So I am going to save them for that. Um, I really like these containers. I might buy some more of these and then get rid of these ones. I really don't like the round ones. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah. Let me, so let me show you the bottom one. I'll show you everything I, that I got rid of. So this is pretty cleaned out. I used those containers over here for... Um, leftovers when people come over and um i have been putting my cheese i grate my cheese once a week and then freeze some of it or more than that like once every two weeks so i put it in the freezer for to save it i really need to put it in a glass container because you really shouldn't freeze stuff in plastic you know carcinogens <laughs> and then this is all the stuff from the kids when they come over their, their cups and they're sippy cup lids and they're silverware and sippy cups and then these are um, pops of the Tupperware popsicle maker things and these are all our water bottles and I did get rid of a bunch of stuff I prop for when I did the one box challenge with um, Rachel my sweet and simple home but so I already cleaned this out already but um, I am going to keep these few even though we don't use them that much so that's that and then I um I cleaned out this drawer here. Um, this is what I took out of this this drawer with these. I bought some new ones. These are yucky, so I'm throwing those away. This soap pad I never use, and it's yucky, and I'm throwing that away. And I hate this thing. It's just a stupid pot holder. And these two things were in that drawer, but I'm going to put them up here in my roasting pan 
um, way at the top because I only use that when I do my turkey on Thanksgiving. So that's where that's going to go. So these are all the things that I pulled out of that drawer. Um, although my hubby likes these, they don't really fit in his lunchbox really good. And then these ones, I don't need all those. And they don't really, they don't have any tops. And um, actually, I think the tops are in the freezer. These are also ones that the tops came with an ice pack, but I can use them for the other ones, but I don't, so whatever. And these ones I've seen on somebody else's video, they were getting rid of them too because the, the lids on them are like super loose. Even though I like them, they're just like, they just don't seal. And this is really old, I'm getting rid of that. That's like ancient, <laughs> I don't know. This is like 20 years old. And this is a top to the a soup cup thingy and I never use that and never will. And then I thought this was, even though I have these kind of containers in the bottom, this was an odd shaped one, didn't match the rest, so I'm getting rid of this, I don't need this. And this, I'm getting rid of it. And then I, can, I, I never use this. It's like a divided Tupperware container, but I don't use that. So, um, I'm getting rid of all that. So that's it for that. Okay, so I guess I'm doing uh, drawers today. I don't know if I'll do anything else. Oh, I think I'm going to just do the drawers. Yeah, so, um, this is a silver world drawer, and I kind of did that when I did my one box challenge with back in January was it was Rachel from my sweet and simple home so that's all cleared out and I like that I have an empty space here and stuff and then this is my um knife drawer so it has all my knives in it my steak knives. these are my butter knives and that, I don't know why that's in there and that, I don't know why it's in there you know what I don't need this stuff Put my or my peeler in there, and I don't even know if I need this. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And here's skewers that we use to roast marshmallows. I don't usually really use it for skewers. Anyway, so that's good. That's cleaned out. And then there's this store which already got cleaned out from a one box challenge too. There is a um, this is an apple cutter and this is a mango cutter and then this is a um zester or you could use it for grating um nutmeg and a cheese slicer egg slicer and then i just bought this this is a herb stripper you like for rosemary and thyme you feed it through the hole and it strips it off the thing I haven't used that yet. And then that's a sharpener. And then a pizza. Obviously a pizza cutter and a can opener. So all, those are all things um, that I'm using. And I clean that out pretty good. I like that it's not all piled on top of each other. It's just one layer of stuff. And I can see everything at a glance. Yeah. So I'm going to take these. These are nut picks. I don't really need those. I think they came from my parents, and I don't know, this random skewer thing, I don't know, so that's going here. And there's nothing, this is a drawer, but there's nothing to declutter here. These are my hand towels and my washcloths, my kitchen washcloths. And there is a bib here in case the kids come over, and then that's a handmade wash, and that's a handmade washcloth that I uh, made. Anyway, so that's that, so that's... So the other drawers are this drawer, and I'll just show you, but there's not really anything to declutter here. Now, in in um, effort to take things off the counter, this I put this on the onions in here, plus they need to be in a dark place. Yeah, they need to be in a dark place, so I put them in a drawer. We use a lot of onions, probably at least one a day. For something or another so it's easy to grab right here and uh, everything so I have all my pots and pans I'm debating whether to get rid of that it it's like lopsided and stuff Ooh. I really like it, it's like a ceramic uh, pan I don't know 
know what you call it. Ceramic, you know, it's not like Teflon, but it's, it's instead of Teflon, it's some kind of ceramic color. But it's lopsided. So these I bought a while ago. Um, when I first moved in this house about five years ago, um, stainless steel because I got rid of all my Teflon stuff because that stuff is not good for you. So, um, I think, I don't know, I don't really use this strainer thing. Yeah, I don't never steam my vegetables. I don't know. Ooh, see? I don't know. It's not hurting anything there. It fits. <laughs> and these are all my lids to all my pans. And then down the bottom, in this pan, I think I need to vacuum that out, clean that all a bit. I have two um, kettles. I have two of those. And then I have a strainer down there, and then these are my lesser used pots. So that's all I have. That's all I have there. And, um,. Yeah, my kitchen's a mess. Don't look at it. And, you know, these are the other drawers that I have. And I already did that in a... Well, I didn't do this in a video. Did I? Yes, I did. I did that in my um, breakfast station. So these are all measuring spoons and stuff that I use for cooking. And, yeah, so... And this is all the lids to my... Nutribullet and the Nutribullet blade, and I use parchment paper and not tin foil, so that's here because that's very convenient. And then the rest of my parchment paper and Ziploc bags and all that stuff is in my cupboard. Okay, so that's it. Okay, that's done. That's all clean, and um, yeah, I'm keeping this. I'm keeping that. Whatever. I'm just gonna keep it. And so this needs to be put up. I need to get the um, step stool so I can put that up in the roasting pan. And so I'll show you the cupboard that the roasting pan is in. It's in this cupboard above the oven. And there's really not a whole lot in there. There's a roasting pan up there. That's like my turkey roasting pan. And that's a non-stick. I know non-stick is taboo, but when my son comes to visit, we make big breakfast with... Uh, eggs and hash browns and all like that and I like to use it for that. That's an ice cream maker. Not getting rid of that. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I made my ice cream. But I really don't have that much stuff in here. Well, I have a waffle maker. I'm not getting rid of that. And this is a uh, aluminum foil pan for a turkey and I don't know why I have that one. I have this turkey roaster. But I don't know, I guess I'm not going to get rid of that. And then under there is a broiler pan and a grill, a pan for the grill to roast vegetables on. And the just see, I did some of this off camera the other week. I don't know, I can't always do, <laughs> wait for to do this on camera um, for everything. So I, oh I guess I could turn this this way maybe. Or not, I don't know. So I've been wanting to have a, um basket for all my pot holders although I would like to have it um, down here but I don't know I don't know if that's going to work for all of these cutting boards and stuff like that all right it's just gonna stay up here for now so this was in my linen closet so I again I'm making use of my um, basket so all my pot holders are in here and there's another basket here. I don't like it that it doesn't match that one. And in here are like trivets and um, yeah, a little cutting board, a cheese board, and stuff like that. So that's I'm gonna keep all that stuff. So down here is all my cutting boards. Oh, I can get rid of this. This is I don't need this nasty um, looking cookie sheet. I have one cookie sheet in the oven and it has chicken on it right now. It, so these are all my cutting boards and this is one of those, um, it's like an office file thingy, I don't know what you call it. And it would work better if it was standing upright, but in order to do that I need to move this shelf and it's really hard to move that shelf because of this middle bar and these little things are a pain in the butt to 
take out so it's going to take two people to do that so that's just not happening right now so i do have a lot of cutting boards but i literally use all these cutting boards i don't know i'm i did not really use that one in a while. oh and this is a and this is a strainer and see if i put it upright i would have more space because all of the cutting boards probably could fit in this one space and then I could put the pot holders down here. And then this is a pizza, uh, pizza paddle. I guess that's what you call it. Um, that my son bought for me. I do use that um, when I make gluten-free pizza. I used to use it a lot when I made pizza, but don't do that anymore. All right, so that's that. Okay, so this is all the stuff that I'm getting rid of. This stuff, this stuff over here, don't count. That needs to be put away. So that's a pretty good um, lot of stuff for just the kitchen drawers and, and then just everything just fell on the floor. All right, so that's a good, good deal. I'm happy with what I'm getting rid of, and yeah. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, yeah, so that it was my kitchen drawers. I still need to do the bottom cabinets and underneath the sink. So that will be in a separate video and then I'll give you like an overview tour of um, the rest of the kitchen because I did change a couple of things like organization wise and stuff like that. And um, all right, so I'm only probably going to do um, one of these purge and declutter videos once a week instead of um, every two week or two a week yeah that's just getting to be too much um sorry guys I'm still getting used to using my camera I'm not looking at the I guess the camera is over here I don't know yes that's I need to be looking at the camera but it's hard not to look at yourself anyhow so um yeah um what was I gonna say <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, so this is my Purge and Declutter series, obviously. So um, make sure you click the links below to uh, Rhonda's channel and Melody's channel and Sophia's channel. They're all doing a Purge and Declutter stuff. So uh, that's it for this video. Until next time, enjoy your day.